Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here, and welcome to Mixed Media Soul Sparks. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit more about gold leaf. Now, if you look back through my various videos on my YouTube channel, you're going to see that I did a gold leaf over texture. This is kind of the same way, but I've discovered a few new products that might help you get going in this faster. And this is a brand from PBO. It is a water-based adhesive size, and they also make their own type of gold leaf products. Now, you don't have to use that. The water size, 15 minutes, you put it on, you wait 15 minutes, and then you apply the leaf. Now, I put a really thick layer on earlier, and it's been way more than 15 minutes. So I'm going to demonstrate putting it on on this one, I'll put a little bit lighter layer, but then I'm just gonna jump into the other one and show you how to apply it. My experience with this, even though it's water-based, it does have fumes, so I would suggest doing it outside. Of course, I'm not doing that, but uh, you can either take it outside and do it. I'm gonna just put some of this on and then move it over out of the way. It's just um, very fluid, so it's easy to put too much on and then it'll take too long to dry. The other thing about doing this, I'm just going to put it on this one area over here. I'm not going to put it on the whole thing, which is true of any size. You know, you can choose where you want the gold leaf to go. I'm just going to put it right on there. So you can see it's pretty clear, it's very viscous. Not much to it except the smell. So make sure you put your brush and water, wash it off well when you're, when you're done. Let me move this out of the way. And now this is the one I did earlier. It's tacky. I don't know if I left this overnight if it would still be tacky tomorrow, probably not. I'd probably have to repeat the process. But let me just show you um, getting some gold leaf down. I'm gonna show you a few different kinds of leaf. This one is called Simple Leaf because it's attached to a backing paper. And I'm just gonna put it on here. Well, I'm gonna try and put it on here. And then I'm gonna rub it down you can use a soft cloth. I happen to just have a paper towel here. Now, if you saw me do the uh, gold leaf skin in a previous video, this process is similar. So instead of the gel, we're using this medium. Now I'm gonna peel the paper backing off. And I'm gonna go back in. Let me just show you real close. Now here, where it's kind of stretched, that means it hasn't been pushed down into the texture. You can see the difference now. So that's what you wanna do, is you wanna really go in, press it down, because otherwise, if you go to really rub this later, you might lose pieces of it. Okay, so that was a simple leaf. Now that I know it's, it's uh, pretty well pressed in there, I'm gonna start to rub it a little. Here is the, the G, GDO, that's what they call it. That's their, their brand name for it. And it's a little different. So it has a silver side and a gold side. And you wanna make sure the silver side goes down onto where the tacky adhesive size, they call it size, it's really like a glue. Now this goes on differently than a traditional. You really have to put more pressure because it's thicker. Personally, I like the more, well, I'll show you here. Because what's gonna happen, it's not as even an application. 
Now, if you were putting it on a smoother surface, it would be, but I'm putting this over a very textured surface. So I know from my previous attempts at this that I'm not gonna get a real good result. So you see what's happening? But I like this too. So here, it pulls it off of this paper, but it gives it an interesting effect that you can't get. Here's the traditional, and here is their brand. So it's almost like you get this hit and miss of where this is going to go. Rather different, isn't it? Let's put a little copper down here just for kicks. Another simple leaf. Just to show you a real quick way. So here, I can just tear that off and then start to put it over here. And maybe what I'll do is I kind of like I've got almost one, two, three, four different kinds of surfaces. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to let this cure overnight, and then I'm going to spray it with a varnish just so this isn't going to tarnish over time. Even having that little crack in there, I kind of like that. It might jumpstart the painting. So let me show you one that in a previous video I had done traditional uh, sizing and gold leaf. And then I painted over it. So I came back in with glazing. And by glazing, you can mix your paint with a gel or a gloss medium, or you can actually buy a glazing medium. And then I put it on and started to just layer transparent colors over that gold. So, so many possibilities. I mean, there's nothing like gold or metal leaf. Now, of course, this isn't real gold, but I just wanted to show you these interesting ways to get different effects using simple leaf, regular gold leaf, or the PBO uh, G GDO leaf, I think they call it. Yeah, this stuff. So check out my uh, website and my page where you can find a lot of these products available or where to go and find them. And uh, keep watching all the other videos because the videos go back. There's some things that are we're continuing on. And if you like these and you want something a little juicier, then get some of the Mixed Media Soul Spark bundles where I go a lot more in depth and how to finish the pieces. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy creating. <music>